Hello Snooker fans, welcome to Snooker Rock Club YouTube channel. I'm EPC Snooker Coach and here I have one of the best Bulgarian players, Georgi Velichkov, who is already a four times Bulgarian champion at such a young age. So we are friends for a long time. I see when I saw you like first time maybe seven years ago, 2012. Yeah. So um, I watch you uh, in recent years and you're playing quite a nice standard. So tell me what is your success story, how you started to play and how you built the game. Okay, thank you. So I started playing in 2007, so it's almost 12 years ago now. And I had uh, watched soccer on TV, so that's how I got, uh, got to know the game. But I hadn't played back when I was watching first. So then I, I tried playing with a friend just uh, on a Sunday, it was uh, like a coincidence. But uh, I really liked the game and uh, I was impressed by, by the size of the table and the ball and everything. So I, uh, it's, it's a cliche, but I fell in love with the game instantly and uh, yeah, that's why I've never stopped ever since. Yeah. So tell me, uh, when your improvements start to progress fast, when? Uh, what time? Uh, oh, there was a moment when uh, I went to the Ter Terra Griffiths Terror Academy, Griffiths. it was in 2009. So I'd, I'd only played for less than less than two years, basically. And when I went there, we, we practiced for 10 days all the time, and we got coaching from, from Terra Griffiths, from his son as well, who yeah. is uh, the leading uh, coach of Hong Kong. Yeah. So it was a very good experience, and I, I improved dramatically when I was there. But then when I got back to Bulgaria, I you know, I couldn't keep up that momentum and I couldn't use it to my advantage. So it took quite a long time to develop, to develop I would say, because I, I felt as though I could have improved more quickly, but uh, it took me a long time. It does for many people, so it's normal. Yeah, Georgia says some good things because when you are in UK or other countries where snooker is so popular, it's easy to improve because there are lots of good players you around. You play with good players all the time and it's very important. And you can easily improve because you can watch other players, how they are, how good the actions they have, how they think on the table. And it's easy to absorb. And when you're coming back to your country where you are one of the best players, so uh, you have less motivation to improve because you're still winning. So yeah, I know what you mean. It's exactly what, what, it, what happened to me. Yeah. So tell me uh, strengths in your game, like where you feel that you are like a threat for the opponent, like you can. Yeah. Well, I've always kind of uh, been a good safety player, and I used to be a very strong player actually. So I was beating a lot of players who I thought were better than me, uh, but uh, I wasn't really playing that well when yeah. I was when I was younger. I was just beating them with uh, consistency, good safety, and. Uh, Throughout the last couple of years, I've improved my my break as well, and I've become a lot quicker, which was which has always been my goal because I never enjoyed being a slow player, you know, annoying other players. But it was just part of the game. So it seems like you look more confident on the table because you maybe have a better belief in yourself. Yeah, exactly. It was it was always a matter of belief, and that's why I was slower actually, just because I wasn't interested in my technique and my shots. But then. As I as I got better, I got more confidence and decided that I don't need to think uh, too much. much anymore. Yeah. And it, I think that's a good advice for a younger players as well. You don't need to overthink uh, things when you play. Mm -hmm. Okay. So listen, this is a nice advice because people, especially uh, as they start, they overthink stuff. They think too, about exactly. too, much, too many details. Yeah. And just just keep in mind that fundamentals is the key. You have right fundamentals. That other aspect is gonna come through the process. So this is a good advice. Yeah. So what you would so this is probably good advice for the beginner players to start with. Just don't think about too much about Yeah I would I would one of the best advice I could give is just uh, don't be in a hurry and just always know that it takes more time than you expect to become better. So I always when I was uh, fifteen or sixteen years old I thought that by the time I got 18, I needed to be a professional. I needed to play. So much pressure on your side. I was putting pressure on myself, and it's it's never it's, it's a bad way. To go. So it's just the best advice I could give is just always know it's going to take more time than you think. But eventually, if you keep playing, keep practicing, you get there at one point. As long as you don't get up. 
got this. So big. don't take yourself for granted. Enjoy your snooker and you will improve. Great. Um, uh, I want to ask what is your favorite shot and can you show, show us how show. you do it? Yeah, yeah, sure. So let's go to the table. Kind of a trick shot. Okay. It's like from pink to black. Okay. Yeah, yeah it doesn't matter. It's yeah, just for the fun. You just need to take, take the runs. Yeah. All right. Two shots. Uh, people yeah. like three shots. So it's a, it's a difficult shot to play actually, and it's not a shot you need to play in a match. So sometimes you can just do it for for the for the crowd if there is a crowd. So it's a, it's a good shot if you play it right. Table is good, but tell me a shot that I can play. I don't have a favorite shot. Uh, maybe you can do a spin back from the back from the green pocket, something like that. Some interesting, like you could see your traction or something like that. If you are comfortable for comfortable with that. It's your choice, no? Whatever you want. Okay, that's the best one. Okay. Such a nice direction. Look at this shot. So here we had such amazing shots. Screw back to the black ball. Here is Georgi Vereshkov. Follow him on Facebook, Instagram. And if you want to learn some stuff, ask some questions, he will probably answer it. Of course, yeah, I would love to. So, it was a pleasure Thank you. to talk with you. And Let's... see you on the tournament. I try to play, beat him. Because last time we played the quarterfinals at the same tournament. And it's revenge time for you. So, uh, I will try my best. Thank you. If you enjoyed our video lesson, smash the like button. And if you are new, subscribe to our channel.